I recommend you to use uh, a class 10 SD card. This is the review of Lollipop on Xperia Play. As you see, this version, it's the last build. Uh, it's very smooth with good performance, but it has little bugs. So, the Wi Fi is working, no drops, the Bluetooth is working, the calls, in call, out calls works ok as you see the it works ok uh, the menu as you see the dialer it's like this ok the contacts like this so it's fast uh, you have the camera working I have problems on the video, but as you see, the camera works. Okay, so hopefully on on next builds the video is working better. Okay, but for now the camera it's enough, it's working fine, good pictures, good quality. The message, as you see. the music player the sound uh, I find it a bit low but with good quality ok as you see works fine but the, the sound it's a bit low I think but on calls and on and all it's a very good uh, ROM ok I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi on just to let you guys see the, the quality of the video. Okay, that I find amazing for Lollipop. On YouTube, the quality is better than in KitKat. Okay, so overall, um, I prefer the Lollipop ROM. Still not very stable, but. Uh, hopefully gonna be better ok so as you see let's put here a little video just to let you guys see what's up guys so before Antonio before this video begins I wanna let you guys know about this Let amazing giveaway that I'm having where I'm giving away a camera Glasses, computer, computer equipment like a headset, iTunes gift card, Amazon so, gift card, tons of stuff. I just want to say a big thing. No pixelate, nothing, just beautiful video. Okay? Amazing work. Okay? The, the test killer. Okay? The notification, as you see, it appears like this. You have the the performance or balanced menu or power saving here. Okay, it's rooted, so better. As you see, I have the backup. Only problem on games that I find. I only installed Virtual Tennis, but uh, the game pads are not working versus the KitKat version. The game pads work, but on Lollipop, the game pads doesn't work or uh, works, but not good. So it's like it doesn't work, as you're gonna see. The, the buttons are you see I press right doesn't do nothing so I press up it moves right I press down it moves left so see it's not working fine the game is pretty smooth uh, and fast with no legs 
é de default CPU, but no gamepad and no touchpad. Ok? Just for you guys know. Uh, overall, it's a super ROM. Super ROM. I hope this build gonna be better. Ok? As you see, I have a titanium with root, so you can restore your apps. Uh, I have restored the game only and a few little apps just to try and it works fine okay it works fine now I'm gonna give you a little a few tips to improve the battery okay just uh, use 2G on networks okay as you see I have only 2G here but you can choose 3G also but I recommend 2G only okay to be more stable I'm receiving calls okay with this let's try the camera let's see the camera if it works uh, it's working it's working ok two videos just change to SD 480 ok change to this it works better and you don't have force closes ok I'm gonna try to record like this it is working to take pictures but on video I'm having some problems uh, it forces close and reboots on this build hope it will be fixed on next builds but if you have a problem on video just go to apps for stop the camera and clear data ok just clear data and open the camera again only if you have problems ok Okay, the camera is working. Okay, and no problems, but on video you can have a force close. I have, so I'll just do that and all working. I'm gonna try to make a call, okay? Let's see. As you see, it's working fine. Okay. So, it's not a very stable version yet, but it's working ok just wait for the next update and the step by step tutorial it's here only on smokerman gda blogspot.pt follow my videos I'm smokerman just subscribe my channel